Okay, I'm back here at the John Deere project today. As you can see, it's been pretty much torn limb from limb. Got the motor still sitting there. The starter did come in. I'll get that any any minute now. I'll get that done anyway. Um, today I'm going to be working on the deck, and I'll be starting talking about the deck with the mule drive, or whatever you want to call it. Um, here's what I notice on it. It's just got a little bit of surface rust on some of the parts where the belt was sitting and where it wasn't sitting. That's no big deal. That'll polish right back up. It's not, not the bad kind of rust. Um, the other thing I want to check is the distance on the... That measurement looks a little different left and right. And this adjuster nut is supposed to be pinched like this and this one has backed off. Um, the pulleys seem to work fine. They're touching the uh, belt right now, which is why they're not free spinning, but they, they don't seem to have any play at all. So I think the rest is good. The other thing I notice is this bolt, it's been replaced because it's stainless, um, which leaves me into suspicion that's the adjustment for the uh, tightening of the belt. And I wonder if somebody put an SAE bolt in a metric clevis. So I may pull that and see if those threads feel right. It may be SAE, but I'm guessing this part is metric. So I'll probably have to get the proper right bolt for that. Okay, so the way I'm going to approach it is I'm going to assume the one that's locked down and probably original hasn't moved and that these have. So I'm going to go here to the edge. Hey, this thing's got inches and millimeter. How about that? Never saw that one before. So, inch and a half. Inch and three quarters plus. So, I'm going to back this one down and, and uh, start the changes there. See what size that is. Big. Not really 19. Maybe it is an inch size. Not really three quarter either. Whatever. I'm going to have to hold this with something. right about there. Then I'll just back this nut down and that'll pinch it in there. you something really odd okay we got this one is bent at a good 90 and this one that's bent you know bent over but neither one of those well that second one will hold it but if it was bent at the 90 that belt's gonna fly right out of there I can't figure out how that would have been or if this once was open more here yeah that has to be what it was this was once open more and those were slid back towards the back 
Yeah. I'll have to take that apart because these should make it stay on the pulley. Probably when you're turning it off, when it's still freewheeling, it wants to fly off. But that gap is more than my finger, which is more than the belt, so it won't do any good like that. That's why I look all this stuff over because that kind of stuff is just going to make it unreliable if you put it back on like that. Easiest way to get at this, I think, is just going to pull this pulley right off. Try to watch where the washers are. Okay, so you can see the shape of this. I think it used to be more straight here, so that would give you adjustment up and down. And that, when they torqued it, they mangled it a little bit, that's all. Plan A wasn't working, so I'm going to try bending it around something flat. There we go. Now we're starting to get more of the shape that I want. It's still not there. Just want it even. Oh, it looks pretty good. Except for that I broke the thing. So I'll order a new blade guide. Just was too brittle and too mangled out of position to go back where it belonged. Okay, as far as the rest of it, the action is smooth, the spring is there, everything moves freely. The last thing I want to do is double check this bolt to make sure this is supposed to be SAE because it's, it's obviously been replaced. And even if it is the right bolt, I want to put a washer behind it so I don't booger up the metal. And as suspected, that bolt is most likely supposed to be metric. We can see right there. It was it wasn't in very far, but we can see at the tip there's uh, there's metal on the um, tip of this. So um, because it's been replaced, because it has metal on the tip and it was barely in there, I'm going to say that that should be a metric bolt. So I'll order whatever the proper one is and just get a washer for the for the front of this so it has something to bear against and I was just feeling the I flipped around the clevis that this was originally into and I uh, put an M8 bolt M8 fits right through it so it's probably uh, it's probably a M10 or M12 and I may have to run a tap through because it does look like they damaged the threads a little bit okay that M8 definitely did not feel right um, what I think it is I'm starting it now it's a US size, but it's a fine thread, and they had a coarse thread bolt in it. Um, what size is this? 3 8 24. So, so far this one's been feeling better. Let's, let's see if we can make it in there. Yeah, that's that's the one it is. get the idea. Got her all threaded. As you can see, the very first, like the third third coil of thread there, still has a little buggered area, but that's a low spot, so I'm not going to run it through again. We're good. Okay, back here with the mule drive. Um, what I did is I just ordered a new one of these, just to be sure that it is the right thread when I get it. I have ordered a replacement one of these. What it's supposed to have is that, then a nut, then a shaft, then another nut and a washer, and then a knob. So 
the knob. Anyway, all that has been ordered. So again, waiting for parts. Plan B.